Matchy free. I want you to vote for Gary Johnson, and here's why. He is a former two-term governor of the state of New Mexico and a self-made millionaire and entrepreneur who started off as a handyman and built a company that employed over a thousand people. In other words, he has some of the highest pedigrees anybody can have while working both in the public sector as well as the private sector. Now, I know every time I try to talk to people about Gary Johnson, I always get the same answer. Oh, you'll never win. That's a wasted vote. And this coming from people who don't even want to vote for Trump or for Hillary, but they think that they don't have any other choices. Well, here's another choice and a damn good one at that. Yet some people are even considering not voting at all. Look, if you're thinking of not voting, then by all means, vote for Gary Johnson. And I don't understand how people take our right to vote so lightly. It's not only a right, but a privilege to vote in this country. Freedom isn't free, people. Freedom is actually an exception, not the norm, in the way we as human beings have been governed since recorded history. Even nowadays, the majority of the world is under some form of a dictatorship. I believe out of the 193 or 195 countries in the world, about half or even less are secular democracies with free market economies. Please, don't take our right to vote for granted. I mean, do whatever you want. After all, it's a free country. But that level of apathy, which is an unfortunate aspect of human nature, is the reason why most of the world is under some form of a dictatorship. And why here in the good old U.S. of A., we still end up with the false choice between a Democrat and a Republican every election year. It's like the same two football teams every Super Bowl. And while we've had other third-party candidates before, like Ross Perot in 1992 or Ralph Nader in 2000, in those election years, it almost didn't make sense to vote for a third-party candidate. But in this election year, it is critical that we finally take a chance on a third-party candidate as opposed to the shameless opportunistic liars that we find in Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. For all the talk of Hillary Clinton being the most qualified presidential candidate this country's ever seen, I don't understand how a government official as experienced as her can confuse classified emails with regular ones and have them stored in a personal drive in her home and then outright lie to the American public about it. And as for Donald Trump, the man who not only compliments murderous dictators like Saddam Hussein and Kim Jong-un, but openly invites Vladimir Putin to hack and spy into the emails of a presidential candidate on national TV. Shouldn't that disqualify him for the presidency? I mean, I think I get it. He knows how to play the media like a fiddle and get himself millions of dollars of free advertising. But comments like that, even if they are a calculated publicity stunt, speak volumes of his judgment and character. The only genuine quality about Donald Trump is his disingenuousness. But I want to keep this video short and talk about Gary Johnson, a socially liberal, fiscally conservative, bona fide libertarian. But who better to explain Gary Johnson than the man himself? Following is a short video of his, but since I value your time, I've condensed it even further for your viewing pleasure. Libertarians are fiscally conservative, and socially they really don't give a damn as long as you don't force your social whatever it is on anybody else. I do not support a federal minimum wage. I do not believe in the death penalty. I absolutely support a woman's right to choose. Deporting 11 million illegal immigrants I think is a crazy notion. I think that we should embrace immigration. Libertarians are non-interventionists. The fact that we militarily intervene in other countries' affairs uh, I think has the unintended consequence of making things less safe in the world. Talking about marriage equality and uh, gay rights, libertarians have been at the forefront of this since uh, 71, since the inception of the Libertarian Party. I don't think the federal government should be involved in telling states how they should deal with transgender issues. In my opinion, transgender uh, people should be allowed to use any bathroom that they want. We need to end the drug war. If I could wave a magic wand, I would eliminate income tax, I would eliminate corporate tax, I would abolish the IRS because it would no longer be needed to collect those taxes, and I would uh, replace it all with one federal consumption tax. If Congress were to pass legislation that would allow um, privatization of Social Security, I would sign on to that. I think the campaign ref uh, finance reform that should take place is unlimited campaign contribution, uh, but 100% transparency. If I'm elected President of the United States and Congress submits to me any legislation to abolish any agency, I'm going to sign on to that. A couple of uh, agencies stick out. One would be Housing and Urban Development. Another one would be uh, the Department of Education. When you watch television, when you read the newspaper, there are only two parties running, Democrats and Republicans. Well, that's not true. By the way, this video has not been approved by Gary Johnson. I just took it upon myself to put this out there because I agree so strongly with the man and his positions on what would truly make America even greater than it already is, that it would be immoral of me not to vote for him. Which is saying a lot because as a pot-smoking atheist, as you can see, I'm not very big on moralizing. Yet I think it would be immoral for anyone to vote for the lesser of two evils because in the end, you're still voting for evil. But hey, it's a free country, so vote for whoever you truly believe in. And thanks for watching. Homegrown!